Hello, Gemini. Welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of November 2016. Uh, this is a general energy surrounding Gemini, and you can also check out your moon in your rising sign. I have shuffled, and there are no reversals in this deck, so let's do this. Okay, Gemini, this first card here is going to represent your desires and your objectives in the month of November. The second card is going to represent what you're valuing and identifying with and what you find important in the month of November. The third card is going to represent a false desire, distraction, possible illusion, or even doubt. The fourth card is going to represent your path to fulfillment and what strategies you should make. The fifth card is going to represent the right attitude, how to relate to yourself and to others. And the last card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. Okay, Gemini, I love your readings because they're always interesting and you always have a lot going on. <laughs> okay, so what you're desiring, your objective, what's important? On the surface, you got a lot of fire going on. Um, we have the foreigner, the page of wands. Okay, so this is a strong fire energy. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But for a lot of Geminis, I feel like this is you. You know, honestly... Maybe you feel like you just need a break. You need a vacation. You need to take a trip, even if it's not for weeks on end. This person is all about trying something different, going somewhere they've never gone before. It's a foreigner. It's someone that is, goes to unknown lands, talks to uh, you know different types of people. This is good news. So I just feel that Gemini, you're ready for a break in November. It's like you know the holidays are coming, and you know you just need some good vibes <laughs> you want you might be some of you are traveling for sure um like i said but i feel that this is more short in duration these aren't long vacations you're also just about making new contacts it's like you need more variety you need more spice in your life you might make a lot of new acquaintances new friends um, this, this person, it, it can also be through study or travel. So you're learning about something new this month, Gemini, or you desire to, you want to learn about a new culture, a new person, a new way of life, just someone different from you. This is what makes you feel alive. It makes you tick. I like this because it's obviously a male. So some of you are also dealing with a young male fire energy. This person is very active. They're very energetic and it's a very fearless attitude. It's like, you don't, you know, you don't want to think about it. You just want to do it. You don't want to, you know, sit there and dwell on situations this month. You just want to get out there and explore and try something new, try something different. It's, it's an acting without much forethought. Some of you also are waiting to get a message. You're waiting to hear from someone and this is going to come in quickly. It can represent letters. So you might be writing someone, someone's writing you. It could be an email, it could be a text, telephone calls, but this person that you're dealing with, whatever this is, whether it is a situation or a person, it's getting your attention, Gemini. You're interested, you're intrigued, you're excited, you're curious, you, you really have your eye focused on, on spicing things up this month. And here we go. This is what you're valuing and identifying with. Honestly, who you are this month. Here we go. The Ace of Wands. This is all about beginnings, brand new, fresh starts. It's fire. It's enthusiasm. It's excitement. It's like a brand new day, new possibilities, endless possibilities. I also feel like this is you. You see these mountains out there and you're like, what's on the other side? I have to go over that mountaintop and see, you know, your curiosity. You want to explore new lands. You want to see new peoples, new things, new situations. You're wanting a fresh start in some area, Gemini. I like this because you're feeling pretty good. I mean, this is a very confident energy. This is a very confident energy. So you know that when you act in your vibe, when you are your pure Gemini, curious, you know, 
spontaneous, adventure-seeking self, that luck is on your side, that good things happen, that surprises are around every single corner. Your optimism and your desire for this new growth in your life is going to bring new opportunities, and I feel that it's gonna keep you very intrigued and excited. You can almost feel the excitement in the air. So just, I feel that you're thinking about this too as well. So just thinking about it, the anticipation of these travels, of these trips, of these letters, of this new activity in your life is giving you, putting fire in your belly and giving you rejuvenation. Like you're feeling inspired by this. Some of you are venturing out into something totally new and different, into a new world. Whether that you're moving, a job, a business, a trip, um, a relationship. Because if you look at the challenge, distraction, illusion, or doubt, we actually have the three of pentacles. So I'm just getting that, you know, if you look at this guy, he's the commander. He is very serious and very like staunch and like, this is how we do it. You almost may be kind of rebelling against this, <laughs> this month, Gemini, because it's like, I don't want to be like this. Like, this is not what I want to do. It is a pentacle, so a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this really relates to what people do in the physical world. So you might just be kind of rebelling against the standard traditional status quo and just really craving something different. Like, this just isn't making you happy anymore. You're bored by it. And because these are like, the commander is like the traditional leader of society. And, and really just like staying in one place and your efforts paying off. And I just feel that like you're kind of doubting what you've been doing. Like you're bored, I, I just feel bored. You're bored by something, by someone. It could be an earth sign. You might be dealing with an earth sign that just doesn't really do much for you anymore. The other thing that this can relate to for some Gemini is because I'm picking up on different things here, um, is this is a type of person that is very influential in society. They, this is also the card of other people acknowledging your efforts. And so maybe you're not feeling appreciated at work. Maybe you're not getting the acknowledgement or the respect or the recognition that you need. Maybe what you've been working so hard on is not growing the way you had hoped because three is the number of growth and, you know, building a solid foundation. So maybe just you're, you're feeling a challenge here with how other people are perceiving it or how it's growing or you're just not getting as much accolades and respect and appreciation as you need because the strategy or plans to be made is the five of swords the five of swords does represent your energy gemini aquarius or libra and you're you're having some type of a battle is what i'm getting whether that's with your job or work is I do feel that for some of you and it could be relationship. You're having to fight Gemini for what you believe in. You're having to fight and some of this could be adverse circumstances. Like it's no one's fault. It's just the way everything has aligned. But the five of swords can talk about someone not being totally honest with you, someone possibly having a hidden agenda. So you might need to really just be on the lookout for this in the month of November. And the five of swords, is, it kind of has an arrow going down, meaning that, you know, that's just kind of like life, like the wheel. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. It doesn't mean you're not a good person. It doesn't mean it's not a good situation. It's just, we all go through these kind of highs and lows and these obstacles. So if something happens at work or in love, that's just unfair or it feels unfair, make sure that you do what it takes, that you do what you're supposed to do, that you're honest, that you're truthful, that you're upfront, and that even if someone else does something shady, you have no part of it. Because this card can represent someone that's not operating in the most ethical manner. And so it's an encouragement to just make sure that you're really honest and above board so that if something does go weird or sideways, you know, you really have no worries or issues. Five of Swords can also talk about someone leaving, someone, um, walking away from a situation. So I'm just getting that things at home or things at the workplace or relationships, something's making you unsettled and it's making you want to get out, like jump ship and do something different. Like you're over it. Um, things aren't really the same as they used to be. 
and or something just hasn't gone the way that you had hoped and so there's a temptation here to want to start something new uh, but i feel that starting something new is actually very positive for you i feel like it's it's exactly what you need and you've got a lot of good vibes on your side and there's a lot of hope and anticipation and excitement so if there is something that you've been thinking about I would say definitely go with it because the right attitude to have for yourself and others is the eight of wands, another fire energy. So Aries, Sag, or Leo, and this is the card about gratification. And so what I think that the message is here, Gemini, is what makes you happy? What really floats your boat? Um, what gets you excited about life? What, what pleases you in your life? Okay. Is it travel? Is it communication? Is it trying something new? Um, this is about you really defining that for yourself and then also communicating this to others. And then also, because it's a fire energy, this is about you taking action, you doing something about it. So if something has you kind of all up in a tizzy, you know, the universe is saying, Gemini, you deserve to be happy. You don't have to be a slave. You don't have to be someone's servant or whatever it is. I don't know what your situation is. Um, you don't have to be pinned down or just miserable. Um, you deserve to be happy too, especially if you've been giving and working really hard and doing your part. It's important to define what that is though, because it's not going to just come to you. You have to know thyself. So I do feel that this is kind of like owning yourself and owning who you are and, and, uh, verbalizing that and take, taking action to yourself and to others. And sometimes that takes a little bit of work. It doesn't just come obvious, but maybe do a little soul searching this month because you've got some fresh stuff on the horizon and the outcome or the realization. I mean, that kind of, exactly what I was picking up on here. We have the two of swords. This is the card of, I mean, look at it. These two fists like gridlocked. It's, it's conflict. I always feel like this is work because it's like a business suit, but it could be just a relationship. It doesn't have to be any type of relationship, but there's two male hands here and they look pretty equal to me. So I feel that you've kind of met your match in someone. Someone has really, you know, you've maybe gone back a lot of different times. I don't want to say you've argued, but like there's been a lot of either confrontation or crisis or just not seeing eye to eye, no matter how hard you try. And it could be in the workplace and that could be why you're just like itching to make a change. Maybe you're just not getting the respect and recognition promotion you need at work or in relationship, you're not getting the love, attention and respect you need. I don't know, um, but it is your thought processes. And so as November goes along, I do feel that you'll be making decisions about things. The two represents that it represents harmony in your life. So if you're feeling disharmonious in some area, you might have to address that. And you could be dealing with a fire sign because we've got three fire energies. So you're worked up about something, Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> you're worked up about something, but you know, you're so intelligent and you have so much mental energy. Just know that you can do anything you set your mind to know that if one door closes, another one opens, know that if there is an obstacle that it's there to teach you, it's there to point you maybe in a different direction that you deserve to be happy. And I know that you will find that place that makes you sing your heart and your spirit and your soul sing. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope this has helped you. If it has, I would very much appreciate for you to like and subscribe to the channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. I appreciate you, Gemini. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, happy adventures, and have a great day.